Hi guys, I just want to have a quick chat to you today and a quick review of the Boscoyo P10 panel mounts which are available. Uh, a bit of a quick background. Um, I am making a 4x2P10 panel matrix for a tuning sign for our Christmas display this year and I was looking around for options on how to mount these panels together before I put them in a enclosure. Now the panels which I'm using are just the common ones from Ray U and out of the box they come with these little M3 little magnetic a mounting system which goes into screws into the little brass insert and I'm assuming you meant to use a series of these along the mounts and then you can use some obviously some something which is mag the magnets will stick to so some some steel I mean probably a bit lighter gauge than this but you could mount them through and have several several through and sort of mount them together to form your matrix now I was looking around for another alternative uh, what would be available. I did consider a couple other options um, before I come across the found the Bosco ones. I did think about using just a bit of plastic uh, channel and mounting that through and drilling the various holes and getting some short M3 screws. That seemed a bit labour intensive. Um, so then I was looking around and I come across the Boscoyo P10 matrix mounting system and I'll give you a quick look at the back of it. So just a quick look of the back of the P10 panels and how those Boscoyo strips mount. Uh, obviously I'm doing a four across by two down matrix. Um, these strips are available in different lengths, which I'll go into a little bit more detail in a second. Um, you get a pair of end strips, which obviously mounts on the end, so one on each end, uh, another one on the other end, just here, and then you just order the number of middle sections that you require to make up your matrix. I also got the power supply mount, including the beagle bone mount, which I'll go into a little bit more detail in a section in a second. Um, it's a fantastic, easy to use mounting system. Um, I will just quickly give you a look at one of the mounts in a little bit more detail just here. As you can see, uh, it's a nice thick ABS plastic. And I'll try and get a a measurement on the thickness for you, the calipers, uh, what have we got here, what are they, they're just over 6 mil by the looks of it, um, they look like they've been possibly CNC cut out, um, the good thing about them, it's a bit hard to see, let's have a little bit closer detail here, but with all the mounting screws where you mount them into your enclosure, they've all been countersunk. Um, and also the screws which mount into the PT panels themselves, each one of them has been countersunk as well. So the little screws, so they're nice and flush, flush mounting there. Um, they fitted really well, it was straightforward, uh, there was no jigging around, they really have to re-drill holes or anything like that, straight out of the box. They fitted up, aligned perfectly. Um, they, the other good thing too is that they come with all the appropriate little M3 screws, which was excellent. Uh, which saves the hassle of having to order the screws from somewhere else. Uh, I'll quickly screw this one back on, this end strip, and then I'll quickly remove the power supply mounting system which is also available and give you a quick review of that. So as I said, the Bosco also does a mounting system for the power supply 
and also an option for the Beagle mode to be mounted on the view of your PT panel, P10 panels to fit inside your enclosure. Now, um, again, these are made out of nice thick ABS plastic. Uh, all the mounting screws lined up perfectly for the power supply. Now, this is just one of those generic Chinese power supplies, which most people use. Um, the screws all lined up, and also it gave you uh, a place to mount the beagle bone. Beagle bone, um, and that mounted up really nice. Uh, there was only one one slight issue: is this top mounting here was going to hit on this little cross section a little bit. You could have spaced space this up a bit higher, further away from the P10 panels, but I thought uh, three of those screws will certainly hold that in there. Um, the good thing about this here, it actually picks up the spare existing threaded uh, holes as part of the P10 panels, so it utilises them. Um, it's a nice, safe, durable uh, mounting system. It does run a little bit close though to some of the connectors um, so you may want to either space it up a little bit or just do what I did um, and just with these connectors you can pull the little locking strip plastic off the top and the mouse in there nicely just for a bit of a heads up to anyone when you buy these P10 panels from China they just come with these basic little ribbon cables which you can use obviously you know, to connect from the out from one panel to the in or the other one. Now I've just got these uh, four by twos. So using two outputs from the Octo scroller. Uh, but doing it this way, the supplied cables won't quite reach. Uh, so if you are, one thing you do have to be mindful of is to get some longer cables. Now I know Bosco also does supply these, so I got these from uh, somewhere else and I'll give a, a link to, I think it was Hanson Electronics who also did the Octo Scroller. Uh, you can buy these, just buy this cable in the, in the length um, and you just work, work out your length and then you get the little connectors and they're quite simply and now they push together. So I'm going to give you a, a quick look. Excuse me. So like this. I'm going to take the uh, paper this one under. Um, they just push together on top of the cable. It's really simple to use. Really easy. Uh, yeah, so that's the Bosco mounting system for the P10 panels. Now obviously if it was making a, a larger panel um, if it was making a, a, a 3 by 4 you can buy these in a 3 panel high. I think they do a 4 panel high, 5 and even a 6 panel which will give you a good size matrix panel. Uh, overall um, Pretty happy with these, they were very cost effective, even including the freight. Um, and just another quick thing I just did, probably you've noticed here, I'm just running one of those little um, Falcon distro boards, distribution boards, just to give me uh, a way to hook up the various power supplies that come with the, with the panels. And just to keep things nice and tight, I've just sort of cable tied them. Uh, into some little mounting lugs in the spare slots just to try and keep it nice and neat. Alright, um, overall as I said I think it's a great mounting system. Nice simple use, even easy, nice and easy to use because it comes with a power supply mounting system. Um, be probably one thing which would be helpful maybe um, to Boscoyo if they did a option for mounting some sort of power distribution board for all the cables but that's here or there it's a bit all right 
thanks for having a quick look at my review of these Boscoyo mounting panels. Um, obviously I will provide links to where I've got the products below and uh, thanks for watching. See you.